Okay, so I finally met up with Cameron and we're going out and just tell us about what camera you've got today. What are you using? I've got my Nikon FM2. Okay, just okay. Now just tell us what you just did. Tell, tell me the, <laughs> the schoolboy error you made just now before we arrived. I thought there was no film in my camera. So I opened the back and there was a roll half spooled in. Yeah, but what was it? Come on. Velvia. So he ruined a £20 roll of film <laughs> to put the film in. <laughs> Which could have been right at the start as well. I think it was quite early on. So Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. Okay, so just want to tell me how you got into film photography. Because how, how old are you? Do you mind telling me how old you are? 24. Right, so you're 24. And how did you get into film photography? Um, well, I went to uni and I did film, like filmmaking. I always took pictures when I was younger, but that was all mainly digital stuff. And then I started getting... Like lots of people on my course shoot film. I think it was just a thing between maybe, maybe it's just something to do with filmmaking or you know, um, something like that. Anyway, people started shooting film and I got the idea for it and I shot a few roles, like one or two, um, when I was in uni. And then I came back home after uni and I kind of lost interest in filmmaking, but I just started wanting to take pictures. So I was walking around town taking pictures and it was only on film. I had so a film camera that was. Um, that was all I had ready, so it was easy for me at the time. So what is your favourite film? Ultra, probably. It's probably a bit of a boring answer. Okay, but you'd like to do a lot of um, expired film as well. And what we're using today. Yeah, I do. We're using Jessup's today, Jessup's Diamond Every Day, which is like my secret weapon, I feel like, because I don't know how many people know yeah. about it, but it's really nice. It's, it's just old enough, not that old, 2007, eight, where it's still kind of fresh yeah not all my roles that i get most of the roles i get back are fine they're like they look like new film right so we just quickly move location we've got point, point, point problems with wind and all sorts of different things and we just finished off with camera so tell me what was your first camera my first camera was a practica mtl b5 mtl5 uh mtl mtl5 b yeah yeah yeah, they did the three and five. Yeah, that's right. They look pretty much the same. Did pretty much the same job. Yeah. And you've got quite a nice camera collection now. So tell me about that. Well, I have this my Nikon. I have a Yashica Electro 35, which I bought for twelve pounds in an antique shop. I'm quite happy with that. This disgusts me in every <laughs> single way. <laughs> that's the only time I got lucky, to be fair, so far. And I have a little 110 camera as well, and I have um, a Mamiya 645. I thought, you, I thought it was a Pentax you had. Pentax medium format? Yeah. No, Mamiya. It's a, it's a Mamiya you've got. That's what, Sorry, yeah, I'm getting mixed up. That's why you had it with you when I saw you a few weeks ago. So now what we're going to do is we're going to basically go around and take different photographs of different things. And we, I think if we, if we, um, we decide, we'll say, oh, what about this? We'll just take a shot each. Mm -hmm. um, and then what we're going to do is uh, when, we're, we're going to get them all developed and then we'll sit down and go through them. We're going to get some prints done and we're going to sit down and, and uh, chat through them and stuff and look at them digitally and all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so this is as I say, a request by one of the people who uh, bought me a coffee and that's why I'm with Cameron now because I knew that he would love to do this. Anyway, let's get photographing. We've just done our first photograph. It's right where we're sitting. It's of this um, life belt, the back of this life belt. And I can tell you from straight from the off, we have both got very different ways of looking at things because we stood in completely different positions. We took very different things, which is really, really great because it's great to see other people's styles and compositions. So we're going to head off uh, down the river. And uh, so Cameron's going to call the next photograph and uh, um, I'll take what I think looks good and he'll take what he thinks looks good. And hopefully uh, we should get this video ready in a week or week or so by the time we got the film developed yeah. so we're at Cameron's first shot and uh, it's like kind of what I think it's to do with these bushes and then the bridge and then the Swan Hotel in the background which you've seen me take photographs many times before so uh, get Cameron just taking his shot and then I'll take mine as I say don't have a clue how he's going to compose his shot and he doesn't have a clue I'm going to compose mine which is really gonna be fun what was your uh, can you just tell me what your settings were on that F8125. F8125, okay, and I'll see what I'm going to do now. Okay, so we're on my second shot. Now, we've probably, we've just discussed, we're probably not going to get through the whole 36 roll of film. So, we're going to do uh, quite a few and get as many different shots as we can. Uh, my next pick is through the trees, through the uh, horse chestnut tree. I actually know what this tree is for a change, a conquer tree, as we call them. Looking at the four mile an hour 
uh, sign on the bridge. So Cameron's chosen to come in a bit closer. But what's kind of interesting is we have just over here. I think that's a that's a nesting swan there, and a nest is that a nest is that nesting goose there as well. Look at that. So that might be worth a shot anyway. Okay. So we're a bit further down the river now, and this tree. I've taken shots of this recently myself. But what's interesting is it's still growing. There's still leaves growing on it and Cameron has chosen to take a shot of it. So I don't know quite how he's uh, composing it. So what was your um, shutter and aperture for that? That was 56500. 56500, okay. And I'm gonna go for a completely different type of angle to what you've done, just to be different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're back onto my shot and we're doing this fledgling tree um, which is in front of us and we're really using different angles let me just turn the camera around on me because I'm, I'm not put the camera on me today there we go so yeah so we've done a few shots now and there was an additional shot we did of a swan which I chose because it was nesting which is quite cool and um, we've just done this let's say this fledgling tree as it were um, I'm going to carry on walking down the embankment. What's quite, what makes it real fun is, um, as we walk along, is the fact that um, it's great to be able to take other people's compositions. So, so although I'm not taking uh, the identical shot that they are, it's just, a, it's just good to actually be say, well, take a shot of this and do it your own way, which is really cool, which I'm really enjoying. So it's, it's quite fun. It's very fun, actually. Yeah. And uh, I think, you know, if you've followed me before, what one of my shots is going to be coming up now is we're heading towards the waterfall. <laughs> okay, so if you watch my videos regularly, you'll know where we are. And uh, yeah, my choice is to get a shot of the uh, numbers on the, uh, I don't know what, the canoeing uh, gates, that's what they're called, aren't they? So. Uh, my shot is going to be through this tree of the number 12 here and then Cameron's going to do his own thing with the numbers. Okay so we've decided we're going to do a total of 12 shots in all and Cameron it's his pick now and what he's trying to get here is between uh, the bridge and the lamppost and the tree. It looks like a really really lovely composition. This would be a nice winter's day one wouldn't it? Have you done it on a winter's day? It, it's kind of a winter's day thing, isn't it? Don't you think? It's like a yeah. you know cold and frosty morning, you know, uh, something out of uh, C.S. Lewis, who wrote uh, what do they call it now? What's that uh, that book he wrote? The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Yeah, yeah. I actually do remember something. Okay, so I'm gonna choose. I'm meant to be choosing the next shot, and it's obviously a portaloo there, and then there's a roadwork sign there. I think it's quite funny. So I think my shot will be that there. And uh, I say we've got a couple more shots before we finish. And then uh, we're going to get them developed and then we'll be... Uh, start again. I always do this. So I've got my shot and it's basically going to be this um, roadwork sign with a portaloo in the background. And then we'll get the films developed at some point. And we'll, hopefully this will be a longer video than normal, which will be really good. Um, um, then me and Cameron can go through the photographs together and uh, just chat about what we've done. So we've both done a few additional shots and this is my last shot of the permit number on this sign and Cameron's got one more to choose. Um, we were just discussing about film developing and we're going to decide we're going to have them developed at the same time together and uh, it'd be interesting to see because obviously they're both expired films how close they come out in colour matching uh, not only through the processor, but also uh, have they aged well? Have you know uh, has one aged be better than the other? And uh, hopefully we should get something interesting through that as well. So we're just walking along by the river, and Cameron's got one more to choose, and then we'll be done. And then you'll see us perhaps chatting about what we've taken. I hope. So here we are together. We've done all the photographs now. So. Cameron's going to finish off the rest of his film, I'll finish off the rest of my film 
and then we're getting pro I say getting processed together and um, be interested to see just how we differ as photographers and I know I like Cameron's work um, I'll put a link in the description to his Twitter and you've got a shop as well haven't you you sell your photographs from yeah. so I'll put a link in the description as well for that and the next time you'll see us we'll be discussing what we've taken going through the different, different photographs we've done today okay see you soon okay so it's been about it's not even been a week it's not even been a week since we did the photographs we sent them to AG photography and um, they so I had the negatives back or that I had the, the shots back the next day so I sent them out on the Monday and they come back on the Tuesday so we've got both mine and Cameron's photographs now um, it's really hard to tell on this screen but we've discovered that Cameron's film hadn't aged as well as my the film I was using so we're just gonna go through them and have a look and this is the first shot tell me what you think well you can see a difference already I think it's interesting because straight away I knew I knew that you just from you picking this as the first subject when we were sitting on that bench I realized how it might be different because this is definitely something I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily go for that. I don't always go for de little details like that, but maybe it says something how this first picture you're a bit closer and I've already reversed out. I think that's sort of a theme that keeps going. Yeah, I seem to get close up and you, you tend to take a, take a, take the bigger picture and that, yeah. that come across in all the photographs we took, not just this one. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's quite interesting. And the funny thing is on, because um, I run this on two monitors. So on the left hand, monitor we've got what we're recording what I, we see as the monitor on the right hand we've got the actual uh, two shots but on the recording monitor they look very similar in exposure and everything but on the one on that we're viewing um, yours do look lighter don't they the, the images mm -hmm. do look lighter and they don't they look quite, quite different and I'm guessing that's just the way it records the monitor so what do we do go through the next um, do you want to do, do that? Oh, it's down the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. No, you just... Okay. Sorry, isn't it? Yeah, I think you just deleted that, my first one, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't need any more, it's done. No, no, that's right, that's right. So, again, what was quite interesting about this one, we both have very similar sorts of shots. Yeah, this one's almost exactly the same, actually. Yeah. You can speak up a bit if you like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Look, I mean, looking, I looking at yours, yours, um, the sky, I mean, we're looking at the film, we're not looking at the actual composition, but, but your film looks slightly warmer on, on the right hand, the right hand screen and, uh, mine looks slightly, so yours, is, oh, actually, no, it's where I'm sitting. They do, they actually look quite close, don't they? Yeah. Um, other than, as I said, that it looks like the actual, um, the, f the film didn't age as well. Um, mm. so yeah so we'll proceed to the next one let's go there and there okay now two very different images now um i didn't realize that cameron was going to walk that close up to the bridge and i so it's, we've kind of got gone gone in reverse here haven't we yeah <laughs> it's in reverse i uh, mean i was definitely trying to get someone in you can actually see them kind of small but it wasn't very easy to get someone's full you couldn't really see the whole body or just a little bit of their head but yeah it's interesting because um, mm. you almost got it's, it's hard to explain what you did really isn't it because it's intuitive but something in you felt like you need something in me felt like i needed to go closer and you just the way you saw it was like something snapped for you it's interesting yeah i was um was this was this your shot or my shot this is your shot your, oh right okay so um yeah it's it's kind of um strange how we've picked different but further along we did the one of the gates for the canoeists and you took the wider shot and i mm -hmm. took the closer shot which is quite strange we'll, we'll get to that in a minute so uh let's go through oh turn it around and turn it around and i think you can now see the problem with exposure on both of the films really because obviously mine uh with with the swan is quite blown out now these have been proper analyzed and corrected the best they can so we, we're, we're working with was it 15 year old film maybe a bit less than that 
Right. Maybe it's about 15. Yeah. About 15 year old film. So we're not going to get it at its anywhere near at its best. But you can clearly see the difference between these two um, two shots. And it, um, it, from what I can work out, this was quite. It wasn't the brightest of areas. So I'm assuming that when you shot the, did the shots mm -hmm. um, at the lower exposure, um, your it just didn't work as well as as mine film worked a little bit better. You know. Yeah, this is the thing with ex uh, expired film, isn't it? It's like uh, it's worst. It does. It just drops off in the shadows. Yeah, and so yeah. that's where it gets a bit murky. Mm. You don't have much light. Mm. Okay, uh, okay, and I'll turn that that way. And actually, uh, so and uh, here again, we've got very very different perspectives. I actually I actually prefer camera and shot. Why did I take a picture? Of a dog poo bin. <laughs> uh, only you could know. Uh, yeah, I just like, oh, I needed something foreground, but you can obviously see, you know. Um, you, but there's another photograph we took, um, looking over over the bridge, over the mm -hmm. little bridge, um, with, and we took. They're both very similar. I know we've both looked at the shots before. We we've both had them for a few days now to look at, mm -hmm. and we were going to decide how we we're going to record this and film this. So we decided, I oh, know we'll do it this way because it's going to be easier, so you can see what we're doing. Okay, so um, yeah, I don't like my shot at all. <laughs> I prefer yours. Um, it's interesting. I mean, this is the first one. This bit we've done it different. We've done one's done landscape, one's done portrait. I think. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Let's go to the next one. Oh, need to turn it around. Oops. No, I'm doing that wrong. I'm pressing the wrong button. I can skip this bit out anyway. So, okay. <laughs> so, what happened here? Were you. <laughs> <laughs> It was intentional. I didn't oh, miss okay. it. it was intentional. Oh, I was thinking. I was thinking. No, you're not going to miss it that much. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. So, what was the what was the intention of doing? You, you were. Tr I'm guessing you were trying to get the cloud and the reflection because mm. you like reflections, don't you? Yeah, I do like reflections. I think I was looking at the reflection of those trees in the water, how that looked, and sort of. Um, yeah, I think I was just trying to focus that, and I, I do kind of like the way it's blended in, it, it, like the shape of the the shape of the plant in the foreground is like kind of blended in quite well. Right. Um, the should, went a bit weird. should we do a podcast? Should we start doing like a video podcast because um, we can we can uh, do different films and stuff like that, and uh, and and you know develop them and go through it like that because it's, it's actually good to have someone to bounce. Because normally I just sit here and just ramble along for seven minutes and it's like it gets a bit boring but with someone else talking and having explaining their ideas you know we're not in com neither of us in competition here we have both have very different styles of photography which is really really great and you still learn from other people it doesn't matter the rage or what it is you know um i remember about five years ago i was i had to do a photo shoot with a child and we had problems with the sunlight and and i was saying i don't know what to do and she says i do i close my eyes and when you say open i open them and you take the photograph i've never i've been photographing children like doing child portraiture for uh, since i was 16 and i'd never thought of that before and i was told by five, five year old how to do it so you're always learning mm. from other photographers other people you're involved with so it's not this isn't a case of like oh his shots better than mine it's a case of we've got very different styles it's great to see what we pick from what we're doing yeah okay and next one okay and next one so um yeah i I don't. I'm not. I'm not a particular fan of this, these reflection type shots personally. But um, I wanted. To, there was actually. Um, but I knew what we were going for. I knew what Cameron was going for. So I was, I was trying. So I tried to mimic what he was doing, standing next to him. Um, but there was a log to the, our left, and I wanted to photograph that. And I'm thinking, no, I didn't want to do that because Cameron was doing this. So I thought I would try and mimic his shot, um, being on on his right hand side. Obviously, because of my photographs on the left and Cameron's on the right. You know. But you, you you do when we've when we've gone through because what we'll do is when we've gone through the shots that I've and you have done, we'll quickly skip through the shots you you finish your roll of film off with. Because I don't want this video to be over long, but it'd be nice to show them other stuff from other photographers. 
Okay. Okay. And what, what do you what do you think? Um, they're pretty similar, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty similar. It's quite, um, I don't know. I thought this was just an interesting one, like a quick one where I saw it. The texture of the how the leaves look in the water. Okay. That's cool. Oops. Next. Right now, this is the one where we switch roles. So I took the close up, and Cameron went for the wider shot. So, oh no, no, I, I know, no, I normally go for no. That's right, no, it's, no, I'm doing the, the thing I normally do, and he was doing exactly. uh, what he normally does. Um, but um, yeah, and I, 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 as you guys guys know, I've taken this shot so many, so many times before, and um, it's basically normal. I use this shot to test the lens, so I'm looking at the actual um, the VKC to see how sharp it is. It's almost but, like a free lens sharpness. Yeah, sign, isn't it? it is. It is. That's what I use it for. So when I'm out um, testing a new lens, and I've got a new lens coming in, hopefully this week, and uh, for my Minolta, so should be doing that soon. Okay, let's look at the next one. I do like your one more than mine. I think. Yeah. It's a bit more interesting. More stuff going on. Yeah. Well, I just literally walked up to it and saw that'll be it. That'll be the shot. Now this one. We well, which one's which? You know, I mean, <laughs> obviously you have um we were both using 50 mil lenses, weren't we? I think so, yeah. So I would have been, so from looking at the perspective and the distance of the shot, it looks like you were standing slightly further away than I was because you've got the tree in yours mm -hmm. and I have it in mine and they're both 50 mil lenses. So, and I must have been standing, actually I must have been standing further to the to the right because of the tree yeah. just here. I think you were, yeah. Um, and you've got the side of the tree in there. But that, what I like about this is it, it basically draws you into it. So basically, you know, um, you've got the three different objects which draw you into the actual walking in the path. So I really like your shot. And actually yours on this one, the saturation looks better on this one. As you go through the film, I think the film gets better, as you said when we were talking down the road. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it was just the lighting on the day. Maybe it was, maybe it was like a bit too cloudy earlier on the day. The sun did come out a bit more. Yeah. Later on, it got yeah. brighter, so... I think it's the, yeah. I think it's because it was the 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 contrast that I got higher. So you, you it, your film was working more normally, as it were. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So oh, I'll turn these around. You can see we've not actually uh, done any preparation for this. Again, <laughs> Cameron's gone for like the wider shot, and I've gone for the the close the close up shot. And I just it was it was a bit of a joke. So we we're trying to get the uh the men at work with the portaloo behind it that was that was the kind of like the joke i had in mind and um yeah and we did a few other shots of um of different things so we'll go through those i'm wary of time we've been going for nearly 12 minutes and there's the other bit to add on as well and i want to go through all of these that we did together and then i want to look at cameron shots so okay and this one wasn't one of the ones that i Oops, there we go. Um, again, you can see the difference in the uh, the contrast in these two. So um, I just wanted to get the beautiful flowers with the truck at the back. Um, yeah, kind of spoiling it all. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so I think I think there was only one more shot after this, wasn't there, that we actually shared? Um, uh, I think two more. There's one of a sign okay. that you took and then one of a bench that I took okay that's it so yeah i took a few extra shots on that um they're almost identical actually no i'm a bit for well i'm a bit further back aren't i so i'm looking down the road and you're looking at the porter cabin yeah um so they're quite different again and also you've cut out all the the cars which is a good thing as well okay and just there was one more there is one this one yeah this one yeah um and again just looking down they're quite actually they're quite similar now the funny thing is yours has now gone the saturation on yours is better than on mine yeah so it's kind of weird um how this has all worked out so yeah and that, that's strange so what we're going to do is we're just going to um cut mine out now oops this is definitely a good comparison yeah um, against just the same I don't know obviously these may have not come from the same batch the same person on ebay you know whenever i ordered them right it's interesting to see that these are probably similar age expired films and how how much different or how similar they can be really isn't it mm, mm, mm. So lots of variables yeah okay so let's go through some of yours now and this is on when we're on our way back it's just a shot of the trees 
I just want to go through, as I say, we're running about um, 14, 15 minutes, plus we've got the other bit of the video to do. This is turning into a bit of a video blog, um, which is not a problem, because I'll actually, I'll actually entitle it, it, the fact it's a video blog. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, Albany Road. Um, these, are, these are my walk home after we shot that video. Right, okay. This, I love this type of light when it's, say, when it's dark and cloudy on one side, but the sun's out. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a really yeah. Nice mood. Yeah, we've got some... Yeah, it's actually, uh, this is on Castle Road, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's quite nice. It's actually, uh, I actually like Castle Road. They've got some, uh, like, niche shops further down the road, haven't they? Mm. They're, they're, they're all, like, uh, specialist cheese and stuff, shops like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, Delis. Delis and that, it's really, really cool. Okay. And again, that's the same, um, same street, but in portrait rather than landscape. Mm -hmm. Quite like, I like this one, actually. Yeah, the re now, here's the reason I like this type of shot is because mm -hmm. you will still have this as a negative in 30 years time. Yeah. And I bet if you took the same shot on a digital camera, you would lose it within a couple of years if your hard drive goes down. You know what I mean? It's, mm -hmm. you know, it, um, and it shows, it, it basically captures the time. Um, and I've got shots that my dad took 20 years ago and Marks and Spencer's in Bedford, which is now gone, mm -hmm. looked amazing. And yes, yeah, so there's a huge. Uh, so, to me, it's like it's it's basically capturing a moment in time, you know. And you can see that you see this in 20 years' time. You see the vans and the cars and the, and the way the, pe the people are dressing and that sort of stuff. And then you can see how much the, the the road has changed, you know, whether that trees come down or whatever. Yeah. That's what I find interesting. That's the power of photography. Isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. funny you say that because I've actually got a picture of the new B and M in this roll, I think. Yeah. Right at the end. Okay. Okay. that's right that's right that's right yeah so let's move this one and this is where i like this one as well i love the doors I like this uh, one. and um this is where it turns up you get, get the uh the deli shops and the uh the junk shop is it a junk shop i don't know the junk yeah. shop's a bit further but down. further down yeah but, but it's yeah. nice um so yeah that's really cool okay and uh that's on one of the junctions where whereabouts is that this is near my this is near where i live right this is like just parallel to castle road okay one street in okay all right and you were trying to do the old um like get motion uh on these last few shots yeah i've been trying that out a bit more um yeah i mean i because i'm used to i'm used to shooting slower shutter speed on a tripod mm -hmm. but i'm just liking the idea recently of trying it trying to do the similar thing not on a tripod and do it handheld you know be a bit because i'm sometimes a perfectionist i'm always trying to shoot and get things sharp and still but it's nice to try and do the opposite for myself which is like make things a bit more messy mm -hmm. have more blur in the picture mm -hmm. get more mm -hmm. movement yeah okay and uh, this one and this is part that's actually part of the bunyan church it's one of their one of the houses there and mm -hmm. um I yeah overexpose these ones a little bit i think yeah because the sky is just whoosh, gone blown out completely yeah that's i prefer this one actually to that one i prefer this 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 shot mm -hmm. um it's got all the signs that the um where everything is river and embankment you know castle key yeah uh panacea museum now that's the place we've got to go that, that's another story anyway <laughs> so okay and uh this is our town center looking very drab in 1970s yeah okay and um was this one where you're doing like like try experiment with like a 30th of a second yeah i shot this at 15th or 15th. 8th or something like that right yeah. so were you trying to find out whether you could get away with it handheld at a slow shutter speed or were you just try you just trying to get some sort of blurring going on just trying to get some sort of blurring i think with the people especially okay okay uh just a couple of shots of that and you also like another thing i've noticed you do like reflections yeah i do a lot i do um yeah i like <laughs> yeah. i like the layers you have they take a lot of i find it takes a lot of tries with reflection shots to get something that's satisfying to me right to get the placement of the people mm -hmm. i don't always like waiting i like moving a lot around quick mm -hmm. i don't always wait you know 10 I know. minutes at a place so i know following you around the first time we went out photographing it was like trying to keep up with you <laughs> <laughs> okay it's better that way i think yeah you know when you start hanging around people get uncomfortable and they see mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. hanging hanging in the same spot whereas if you're just moving yeah yeah it's a better flow 
Okay, and this is again. So this was early in the morning, right? This was. This was this is before work, so a bit before eight o'clock. Right. Okay, and they're just setting up the cafes and stuff. This one's not bad, I don't. Mind. Yeah, yeah. And again, looking up towards that's B and M. That's where Marks and Spencers used to be. Okay, and this was another one. I th do you know what? I think if you'd have if you'd have gone for a slightly longer exposure exposure if you could have done mm -hmm. i think it'd have been you'd have got a much more dramatic effect you think i think so but that's personal even slower shut to speak yeah 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 mm. yeah yeah so you know go down to an eighth of a second or something like that mm -hmm. and get some really weird because you get some really kind of like weird things with the the sign and that you know what i funny you say that i think i actually was at f22 so i think it was at the maximum, <laughs> a maximum because the bright because it was so bright out yeah yeah, yeah. this okay. one i like Mm -hmm. I had to make this one black and white at home though because mm -hmm. the colours were a bit I find the colours to be a bit weird but <laughs> I like this one and the guy okay. the movement of it mm -hmm. okay and we'll rotate this one and the shutters I think you probably put the shutter speed up because this one is actually sharper than the others okay and I don't think I did I must have just been holding it steady yeah yeah and I'm, I'm, I do this as well. I do take multiple shots of the same thing all the time. Mm. Okay. Can be a bad habit sometimes. And this is just someone. It's a reflection. Um, I'm trying to think where that is. Oh, I know where that is. That's round by the, um, the back. It's near the corn exchange. Corn exchange. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. Okay. And we're back to the start. So we've done all the photographs we've gone through now i hope you like this uh, i've got i've got a few ideas for another um another video and and what we can probably do next time is we'll actually film us as well so i'll set a camera up so you can actually see us talking about this and what we got on the screen as well and i can switch between the two shots anyway don't forget to like comment subscribe and this is run for 21 minutes so it's going to be over nearly half an hour the whole um video so um this isn't i say going to be the norm we'll just do it from time to time but now i've met cameron and literally the way i met him was i i knew he was a film photographer because he wasn't looking at the back of his camera and that's how you spot an, an, a, 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 a a film photographer they don't look at the back of the camera anyway hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next video